Welcome back to Mascot Media Video YouTube channel. My name is Gilbert Angonye. My job is to make the web development simple and easy for you in this generation of IT so you can start and finish building your web project. If you valued this video, enable to give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. It goes a long way to growing our channel and to make sure that you never miss out of any new updates. All right, let's go straight to button. HTML5 button. Um, we take up our page. Uh, before we do that, please let's have our folder here. Button. Is that in the right place here? Button. Here we create our maybe index. It is index.html. Here we have our page. Here we say HTML5 button. Here we have our live server to open it in a live server. It's open, but just not in there. As usual, we take our head to say HTML5 button. I don't need to say much about button here, but normally this is a place where you click your we'll submit button, this button, and that button. In HTML5, we have this element. So we'll be seeing a normal button. We we'll see submit button, we we'll see reset button, disable button, autofocus, alert button, link button, then customize the button these are things we'll see on the button so here we have the element button inside the element we can put button then up here in the opening tag of the first of the opening element we have our type what type is here menu reset or submit we are considering button a normal simple button that's what we're considering a simple button your header simple button so the type is a button if we have a name we can name it to the button then we save and you can see the button here that's the button for you then let's see a submit button we like to handle all of them here in this page unless where it's not possible submit button put that one down and then put our bread tag so to give our chance and it goes down too. So we have our submit button. We button. Okay, let me push it down. Submit. Inside the opening tag for the elements, we have the type. Type is submit. The first one we initial one we use happen to be button. But now we're taking a submit. What's the name? Let the name be submit button, submit, and the value uh, submit with the exclamation. We save, sorry, submit. We save. That is your, that's the submit button. The submit button. If you want to reset, let me copy that and paste immediately. Reset button. No, header. Reset button. When we go to form, we start using these things. Sometimes, I always teach it with forms, but no problem. I have not a topic on this one. So the type here is reset. The value is reset. When you put it in a form, reset to. If you put it in a form where you have input, I don't want to go into it. If you, for example, now you have a form. Let me show you one or two things. Action. Let the action be whatever. Let the method be. Let's say method be post. They will have this input. Let me show you how the resets work. Input type is reset. Sorry, input type is a test. Um, then this, we have an input. Type is a password. Then whatever. They will have input type is reset. Uh, the name is clear. And value is uh, reset or clear. And we save. Let's put some break tag here. So it will be easier for us to see. And at the end of this input, let's put a break tag. At the end of this one, put a break tag. And near that end. We maximize the browser. Then you can see the form. I put something. I put a password. To clear it, you click and everything clears. So that is the reset button. That's what it does. 
the value inside this place is what it's showing. If I like, I can put reset. It gives me reset here. It gives me reset. That same reset put here with password. Reset. It clears everything. So that is it. This is form anyway. I'm not going to form. Just want to give you a button. This is HTML button. It's not CSS button. By the time we get to CSS button, you see the difference. You will see the difference. CSS will just give you beauty in button. This is just the skeletal form of button. Okay. So after reset button, we'll put some attributes like disable. This is a button. There's an attribute called disable. I've said this before. I save it. You can see what happened. You cannot, that button is disabled because of that attribute. You have an element, then you put in some attributes and you start seeing some behavior. So it is the attribute that is controlling, it is the attribute that is controlling the behavior of the element. Just put in one or two attributes and a lot will be happening on the browser. Just the attribute that is doing every magic we are doing here. So we have autofocus. The button could be autofocus. I will remove this disabled based on some reasons. Okay, let's let me leave it and copy because of some reasons. Some people want to go through it at the end. So this is another button. You see that it is disabled because of this. Let me give autofocus. Before I put autofocus, if you look at this form here, I'm sorry I'm teaching you form in the name of button, but no problem. You can see you can see where I click in the browser. This is where you're supposed to start writing. Before you write, you start writing. Before you write, you have to click. You click before you start writing. Now, I remove this and the autofocus. When I save, the autofocus now is on the button. I hope you can see. It's on the button now. It's highlighted. If you click now on that browser, if you click on the browser, you are clicking the words, the reset on the button. So that is what autofocus. It will focus on that very element. The element now we are considering is the input. And what type of input is a reset button? So is on that. If I put this autofocus here on the first one, as I touch the browser, because we are working on this page. If we are working on this, it's on this. That one is not seen. But the moment I touch the browser, it highlights that input where I put the autofocus and which, on this, which is on the first one. If I drop anything on my keyboard now, it shows there on the right. Okay, that is all about autofocus. Like I explained it too much. Just a simple attribute that will give you what you want. Okay, the next we see will be alert button. That's our header. Alert button is button, I call it alert. Inside the element, we we'll have on click. What should happen on click? Alert. Attribute on click is the attribute, the property attribute. Now we're looking at the value attribute. Mascot. And welcome to mascot. So here you can, when you, is an alert. That's what we we'll have here. Let's, since we are latter, let's see what happens. You click and it shows you something in the browser. Hope you can see it. It's, when you click, it shows you something in the browser. I zoom in so it's easy for you to see. You are welcome to mascot. Okay. You say okay. And it disappears. Okay. That is a lot button for you. We, let's see, link button. Now, head here. Link we have treated link, but now we are seeing link button. Link button. Yeah. When we mention link, first thing that should come into your mind as a developer is anchor tag our A with the hetero. Okay, we just finished some of the let's see where we are linking it. Okay, we will go to we'll go out now. We we'll see folders. Yeah, we'll pick this person. I don't know what is inside it, honestly. That folder is link. Okay, it's link. As link, we take target, uh, let it be blank. You can choose any one. I've studied it. Title. It's unfortunate we don't know what is inside that thing. Title is our uh, tutorial, mascot tutorial. I don't know what is inside it. Mascot tutorial. Mascot tutorial. Save. There should be a name. So let's take it to mascot tutorial. That is it. Title is mascot tutorial. Then inside this place is a button we want to build. So that's why we use our button element. 
inside the button element we'll put our let me put this thing in the fresh line inside the button element we'll put our title what you want to see in the browser and that is what we'll have here in our browser mascot tutorial that's the name of that button you click it and you'll see yourself somewhere in a blank page let's see what happens it's refreshed you click you'll see yourself in a blank page and this is the index page of forever so but this is where we did the clicking and we landed here in another page why we landed we landed a blank page because of this blank here the other attributes value other property uh, attributes values you can select but we decided to select a blank and it gave us it landed us in a blank page so that's it let's see if we can look at customize button um customize in the sense that we we'll put some attributes we we'll put some css and see what we'll get there's not much there but let's um our header style button oh customize customize with css is that it let's see what we'll get here here we'll go straight to button that's the element we'll see css customize button css customize button that is what we'll have inside it okay so let's have our type is a submit button style well, let's give it a background color since we have land color background color if we are to use a hexadecimal color ff00ff ff. i don't know what we'll get we'll have something there okay we'll have a color there we have the we save it to have something we can have a color the color of text we have some suggestions here i don't know the one to choose uh, let me choose a uh, blue or blue violet or anyone aqua i save it looks funny well color is color since we are in practicing so let's change the font size font size i want it to be maybe bigger or smaller or whatever let's say 22 pixel you know why this thing keep on going up going up and going up let me show you something why is that auto play of a guy autofocus where is it let me remove this autofocus to see what will happen we are here we refresh it's not changing position the browser is not changing position i hope you can see what happened Every time we refresh, I scroll and I have to scroll down the mouse to get where we are. Every time we refresh, I have to scroll down. The guy, the attributes, the guy that is doing that thing is the, that attribute called autofocus. Anytime you refresh, it will bring you back to that place you're supposed to autofocus. That's what it does. But I've disabled it, so nothing is autofocusing anywhere. We have to do the focusing and it's going for us. I hope you really got it. Uh, this button is large. Um, it's large. If I take it to be 12. Uh, something like this and I think the color of the text is not good we can choose a by mouse you know over this you can can we choose black or something darker I think that will be okay if the button is too uh, CSS customized uh, something better oh so the the I moved from you saw what happened when I made this choice it moved from ROGB to uh, it moved from hexadecimal to ROGB Whichever way we are practicing, you are learning. Okay? So let's see if we can use the also the font family. Font family will have a good number of them. I don't know. You can choose anyone. The font family, you choose it. They will select anyone there. If you are having a project, you can change. Font family. Let me take the second one and I save and change. So that is what I call customized button. From button we are moved, we have touched a little of form. If you've been in my tutorial before, you, you realize I told you that form is a very large topic in HTML5. It's very large in the sense that for us to handle every single thing, single element and attribute in it, it's going to take us time. But I will do it. Reason is that when it comes to web, form is very, very essential. When it comes to dynamic web, form is very, very essential. If the static web, no problem, but when it gets to dynamic, form is very, very essential and uh, we must handle every single thing even the ones you've not had before will handle them but what you do for me is that anytime you see our video you go through it and there's an issue anything you see that is not straight or that is not complete just take your time and drop it in the comment 
I'll tell you, we are going through every single comment there and we'll handle all of them. So that's all I can give to you on button. In the next tutorial, we'll see you there. Thank you. Having gone this far, thank you for following me. This is our channel, Mascot Media Video. My name, I'm Gilbert Angonye, presenting this very thing to you. It's my pleasure to have you here, and I'm happy you have gone with us up to this level. If you value this tutorial very much, please enable to click that uh, like button, share to friends, and don't forget to subscribe. These are the things that will make our channel grow. Like I always say, this channel is new, but I tell you that what we are teaching here is not new. But we are trying to put it in a better place, in a better position, so that you can easily understand what we are doing here. We are teachers, and we are teaching. We are presenting the best to you, using the best approach. An approach that will make it easier for you to follow in what we are doing. That's what we can solve for now. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye.